OMG, he's back again. Welcome to HQ Words. I am thrilled to be back. It's me, Jason Sudeikis' twin brother, the benevolent buddy, the millennial Mr. Rogers himself, Timothy Dunn, filling in for Anna tonight. Hashtag free Anna. And tonight, I'm your personal Tamagotchi, because today is not only Smarter Day, but tonight's puzzles are all 90s game show related, and here's how to play. You're gonna spin a wheel and get a letter. If you have a super spin, you'll be able to get packs of letters or extra lives. To solve tonight's 12 word puzzles, use the keyboard to fill in the blank letters. If you guess a wrong letter, you get a strike. Use up all your strikes and you're eliminated. I'll be here to give you clues, kind of like a friend playing along with you in your living room. Okay. For every level you reach during season three, you gain an extra strike. What, what? Do you have any extra strikes left? Use them dudes and dudettes. Live in the now. We'll see you soon. Okay, so tonight is Smarter Day. All the puzzles have an AKA format. AKA, also known as. You play crossword puzzles, they do this all the time. So I'm going to give you the name of a real 90s game show, and the answer is a play on words of the name of the show. That makes sense, right? Or it could be just another way of saying the name of the show too. So if the clue was Monopoly, the answer would be something like, you own everything. A play on words. The puzzle words themselves aren't very tricky, but you gotta think a little, bud wise er ease like Budweiser frogs, but buddies? Okay, you guys get it, you're all bright. And your futures are looking very bright tonight because we've got 12 puzzles and you're playing for $1,000. You can buy yourself a whole lot of Schwinn bicycles or brand new home stereo systems or a coffee of the month subscription with, uh, with that. Uh, those are prizes on 90s game shows. I was actually alive when those shows were on, can you believe? Everyone starts off with five strikes, but depending on what level you're on, you're going to have more strikes to play with. So keep earning those points. And you better believe I'm gonna give you a free letter, Mr. Budvideers. Like Mr. Belvedere, the TV show, but buddies, all right, we'll stop that. So let's spin that letter wheel and get you a free letter, occur. Casio watches, LA gear duffel bags, a new car. Backpacks that are shaped like teddy bears. Those are other great 90s prizes that you can go out and buy for yourself today when you win all that money. Sounds good, right? And let's get right to the winning with tonight's first puzzle. Remember to think and take your time, but don't take too much of a chill pill, buddies, because the clock is ticking. Eh, let's just have some fun, all right? That sounds good. Your first clue for the night is singled out. And I'm gonna help you with this one. Type in C-G-N-N. -N. Singled out, the TV show with Jenny McCarthy and Chris Hardwick. It's a dating show. Contestants were slowly eliminated. It was kind of a low budget show. And it's funny because singles also refer to dollar bills. If you're out of singles, well, I'd be out of luck because I only carry big bills. So think singled out. That's time right there, buddies. Did you get it in time? Were you singled out? The answer is no change. Get it? If you're no change, singled out, out of singles, can't break. It's, and that was a tough one. And that was pretty brutal right there. We lost 15,962 of you off the bat. But that's all right, because the beat goes on. Puzzle number two is hot and ready. Next clue is Hollywood Squares. I love this show. It's a big vertical board, three boxes by three boxes with a little celebrity inside each one that would help you win money. But you had to get three boxes in a row. Do you get me? Go across, up and down, diagonal. If you got one, they'd say circle gets the square or X gets the corner or something like that. I'm not sure, but it was always really fun. It was a really fun game. That's time right there. Did you get it in time? Now, those fingers gotta fly fast because that's tough. The answer, tic-tac-doe. Get it? Because it was like tic-tac-toe and you win money. All right, 78,963 of you are rolling in the dough because you got that one right and I'm proud of you. I mean, the 34,209 of you that got eliminated, stick around, keep playing. There might be some fun stuff I could tell you at the end of the game. You never know, stick around. Now, your third clue of the night is a show that I would still very much like to go on with my real family. Your clue is Family Feud. Man, there were so many great hosts over the years on Family Feud. And truly, Fam Feud bloopers, bloopers are truly some of my favorite YouTube viewing. Uh, I mean, so you go on Family Feud with your brothers and sisters, and you compete against other brothers and sisters. There's a grandma sometimes on there. You know, 
You're planning it and that's time right there. Now, do you get this one? This one's a little tricky. The answer for this guy, sibling rivalry. Get it? A family feud, a sibling rivalry. That was a tough one. The survey says that 15,240 of you took a hike. And that's all right, because we got 64,949 still in the game on Smarter Day. Here we go, puzzle number four. Here's a throwback for the old heads like me. The clue is remote control. It's basically like Jeopardy for lazy stoner teens. Do you remember that? Happy 420, everybody. Now, contestants sat in recliners and used a big TV remote to choose categories on a big television screen. It was edgy and funny, it was cool. Colin Quinn was on it. Uh, it was on a music television channel. General trivia, trivia about music. Lots of stuff. That's time right there. Now, this again is one for the people who are a little, a little senior, maybe. And the answer is MTV Guide. Get it? Like TV Guide, but it was on MTV. And I, if you're on spring break right now, I got bad news. You got to come back to come back to your home state because you got schooled. Say 46,156 of you are limited. We got 19,500 still in the game. Sometimes you get schooled, and that's okay. Yeah, I still like you. We're still buddies. Okay. Now here you go. Puzzle number five. This is of watching when I was homesick from school. Your clue is The Price is Right. Come on down! Now on The Price is Right, you had to bid on contestants row to play a game in hopes of making it to the final showcase showdown. That was fun, but everything hinges on this one moment where you had to try to get as close to $1 as you could. Think about it, Drew Carey, Bob Barker, iconic Bob Barker. Get close to $1, Bob, that's time right there. Now, this is a fun answer right here. I'm a, I'm a fan of this one. The answer is Wheel of Fortune. Do you see what we did there? It's kind of two game shows in one. Do you like that? Uh, uh, Pat Sajak, another icon. Now, you just spin that big old heavy wheel and get close to $1, and you won 1000 bucks if you got it on the dollar. I'll take 1000 bucks. You can win 1000 bucks tonight. Let's, we're doing the same thing, buddies. We're giving you money for a game show. Come on, we're doing it. Here we go, puzzle number six. Now, please, before you go to puzzle number six, remember to get your pets spayed and neutered. That's for Bob Barker from The Price is Right. Our next clue is one of my favorite game shows as a kid. Your hint right now is Guts. Do, 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 do you have them? <gasps> they, on Guts, they had extreme sports challenges, like in a wave pool, or they strapped into some giant harness. And the final event, every game, you climb into this giant fake mountain crag, and you'd hit buttons, or actuators, they called them. I remember that word. Along the way, if you didn't get all the actuators, trolls would come down. It was fun. I really want to be that. That's time right there. Now, this is a specific word you sort of had to know. Agroculture. They called the big mountain on guts the agro crag. An agro crag, agroculture, agriculture. That was fun. I, I, and we're, I'm not gonna say this is a schooled, but y'all, we just lost 12,000 of you almost. And guess what? We're halfway there. Coo -coo. Oh, we're halfway there. Are you having a nice time? I'm having fun. I like doing this. This is fun. Now, puzzle number seven. I loved this game show too, man. Now, this was the peak of 90s suburban culture. Your clue for puzzle number seven is supermarket sweep. Mm, this was a fun one. People would run around grocery stores filling up their carts with expensive foods. You'd find like prizes in certain ones. Uh, it was exciting. Uh, think about the other meaning of the word sweep though. Supermarket sweep. That's a good clue right there. Everyone always went for the hams on this show. They'd grab hams and expensive meats. I don't remember bought a ham, I don't think. That's time right there. Now, Supermarket Sweep, the answer for this one is aisle cleanup. Clean up on aisles, puzzle seven, because we lost 3,360 of you right there. We got 5,184 still cleaning up in their own right. And we're cruising on through to puzzle number eight. Now, if, I, if you never wanted to be on this show growing up, I don't know what to tell you, because this was such a fun and cool show. The clue this time for Puzzle 8 is Double Dare. Like, Double Dare was kind of like guts, but it was funnier, you know? There were timed challenges, like you had to pick a giant nose and pull like a big old booger flag, or like swim through a pool of jello. It was a messy show. It was great, but it was hosted by an iconic host. His last name is Summer. This is how he would get you started. Beginning of every sort of time challenge, you would say a certain phrase, and this is a fun one. That's time right there. Now, this is another fun play on words. The answer in this one, on your mark, get set, go. Mark Summer, the host, on your mark with a C. That's how he spelled his name. You got it. We eliminated 2,997. We got 2,653 of you. Still, go, go, going. Strong to the finish line. Your ninth clue now is a show that I would have been straight up terrible at, because I am terrible at what? 
geography. Here we go, your clue. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Now think about who is on this show, and not just Rockapella, that killer acapella band, killer. Your boss on the show would give you clues to help you track down Carmen San Diego around the world. It was mainly your boss's job. She was sort of pawning it off on you. She had that giant magnifying glass. Remember that? We used to do that all the time whenever I have a magnifying glass. That's time right there. Another fun play on words. This is Chief's Concern. Your boss on the, Where in the World of Carmen Sandiego was the chief, and you were the gumshoe. And the chief's concern was finding Carmen around the world, and I couldn't have done it because I'm not good at maps or geography. That's okay. Looks like 1,390 of you are not either, and that's all right. We're cruising along puzzle number 10. We're on a good pace today. We're clipping right along. We're having fun. Your next clue is Rock and Roll Jeopardy. Rock and Roll Jeopardy. It's a classic game show. And the twist is on Jeopardy, they give you the answers, and so you have to come up with the question. So on a rock and roll version, what would they, what would the answer be and what would they be asking you most of the time? Think about that. What would the question be for a rock and roll version of Jeopardy? They'd ask you sometimes about bands or about albums. That's time right there. Rock and roll Jeopardy, the answer is what is this song? What is the song? We lost 54 of you. A lot of you got that one right. 2,118 of you rocking out with me on Smarter Day with 90s Game Show Trivia. Uh, I'm glad you're playing along with me, guys. This is a fun game for me. Okay, all right, buddies. You're in for a real treat because I wanted to be on this next show so badly just so I could meet the Beefcake Warriors. Your clue is... American Gladiators. Heck yes. Now, normal people would go on American Gladiators and compete in athletic challenges against gladiator types, like bodybuilders with crazy muscles. And their names were like Storm and Lightning Bolt and like Zap. Uh, they do medieval events. People would get knocked down. It was pretty brutal, but everyone always hugged it out in the end. Uh, the normal guys and the gladiators were always good friends by the end of the episode. That's time right there. Did you get this one? American Gladiators, the answer is Joust Friends. They're not dating, they're joust friends. And they would joust against each other too. We lost 938 of you. We have 1,144 of you still playing. That's a pretty low number, y'all. There's some money to be had tonight. If you're looking to cash in, Smarter Day might be your day. And I have good news. We're at the final question, buddies. This is for all the slap bracelets, all of the Furbies. You're gonna take it all to the bank. Maybe you'll get some nice Easter candy on sale on Monday. How about that? Here we go, your final clue of the evening is who wants to be a millionaire? I'm sure you word nerds and HQDs know this show. It's basically like one big trivia test. You know, you would eliminate answers to get down to the last one that you would lock in. They would ask you a bunch of times if you wanted to lock it in. You only take home the big money if you ace the whole test. It's kind of like HQ words. We're coming down to the home stretch. Here we go, that's time right there. Who wants to be a millionaire? Our final answer on HQ words, Final answer exam. Ah, and we have 1,073 of you split in the pot tonight. 183 of you lost in that last question. And guess what? You tried your best and we'll get them next time, champ. We're playing every single day and come back tomorrow. Let's see who we got winning some monies tonight, huh? We have Rowisk taking home 94 cents. Chad 1M, I've seen you before, buddy. You are taking home 94 cents as well. And Ape Minky, hi Ape Minky, look at you. You're a little ape and you took home 94 cents as well. Congratulations to all the winners. If you didn't win tonight, you'll get them next time. You know, it's, it's all about trying and that is our game for today. Happy Smarter to everyone. Congrats to all of our winners. And remember, if you didn't do so hot today, the more you play, the quicker and the better you get. And if today wasn't your day, I'm sure you're gonna crush it tomorrow. And I have some great news. Words is live every day at 9.30 Eastern time, and fear not, Anna Royceman will be back in Back to the Future tomorrow and back in the HQ Word Saddle, so be sure to show her some love as well. I've had a tubular time playing with you all buddies today. I've been Timothy Dunn this whole dang time. Shout out to my HQ Twitter buddies, Angie and Arkzel, and a very, very happy birthday today to Yogi the Chocolate Lab. Happy birthday, Yogi. This bone's for you. Say hi to me on the internet if you want. If you like a shout out, and remember, it is cool to be smart, it is cool to be different, it is cool to be kind to each other. I'll see you all very soon. Be good, happy holidays, buddies, bye.